Hey my loves, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Nancy. I'll be leaving all my social media handles down below. Go ahead and subscribe too, I'd really appreciate that. For today, I created this look here. I posted it on my Instagram and people were like, I wanna see a tutorial, I wanna do this for New Year's, and I was like, yes. Here it is, it's super easy, super simple, but super cute. Something that you can definitely wear to your New Year's party. I love this look and I hope that you do too. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Custard as my base. And then I'm going to be setting that with the Matte Vanilla Shade Eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be grabbing the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm using the Rusty Burgundy color. It's not the darkest shade, but it's second to the darkest shade as my transition color i know it's a little bit dark for a transition color but i really wanted to use this one i'm using that all over my crease and then bringing it down to my lid as well in windshield wiper motions then i'm going to get the darkest burgundy shade and i'm going to be directly applying them on my crease i'm not going to take it up just directly on the crease and then bringing it down to the lid as well I don't want this up higher than the crease. I just want it there. Then I'm going to be grabbing the orange shade and I'm going to be blending both colors together with this fluffy brush. I want that grading effect to be there with this orange shade. And going back with the darkest burgundy shade, I'm using a packing brush to apply it all over the lid. This is going to be the main color that I'm going to be using. The other two are pretty much to blend it out and give it that super blended effect. And pretty much all I do is I pack on the color, I blend it out, pack on more color and blend it out again. This big fluffy brush really helps me out. It's from the Makeup Shack and I'll be listing all the brushes that I use down below for you guys as well. Next, I'm going to be using the Frosty Vanilla shade. It's shimmery from the palette, and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and then just blending it together again with no additional product. Now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Glitter, and this is from their Heavy Metal collection. I'm using the shade Midnight Cowboy. Most of the glitter, I'm going to be applying that on the inner portion of the lid and just distributing out the glitter into a fading effect to the rest of my lid. This is what I want. I could have used regular eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, glitter, what are we talking about? <laughs> but I didn't. I wanted to use this because it was easier and it was so pretty. Going to the lashes, I already applied mascara, curled them, and now I'm going to be applying the falsies. I'll be listing the ones that I used and where to get them from down in the description. Just want to make sure that it's super close to my lash line. Sometimes it kind of looks like there's like a space between your real ones and the falsies. That's why tight lining really helps out. It makes the lashes and your own lashes look closer together. Also, if you notice in a, any additional sparse areas, you can put liner there as well. Now I'm going to be using the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. And this is my favorite. They're pre-soaked and that's so convenient. I don't know why my face was looking super red. It's wasn't in real life it was playing me i don't know why now to moisturize i'm going to be using my moisturizer from bath and body works it's my favorite and to moisturize my face i'm using the dramatically different lotion from clinique then i'm going to be using the Too faced hangover primer it's one of my favorite ones I've been using it for a long time I haven't found something better yet now I'm using the NYX dark circle corrector 
to diminish those dark circles of mine. I don't have the best sleeping schedule and then I also have the worst allergy so it does contribute a lot to them. And just gonna be applying that. I do drink a lot of water though. So at least that is helping something out. I had already dampened my sponge, but I wanted extra moisture because it was like sitting there for a while. So I just used my Fix Plus to add that. This sponge is from the Makeup Shack. It's really good and super affordable. I do recommend it. I cannot live without singing even though I suck at it I know but I don't know why I just wish I had a great voice that would have been a singer I know it <laughs> I'm applying my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible in the shade 105 this is my number one favorite foundation I mean I do like other ones of course but this one's just my number one a lot of people don't like it it's kind of like a hater love foundation but personally I love it I don't know why it just like stays on all day for me you do really have to blend it out and take your time because you might get those little orange manchas if you don't and it's pretty matte but even though I do have dry skin it doesn't you know make me super nasty dry or anything like that so I really like it personally now with my Maybelline fit me concealer in sand I'm using that as a base. I know you guys might think that it's a lot of concealer and yes it is, but I like it like this. This is how I prefer it. So I'm going to blend that out. I mean, I wish I didn't have dark circles, but I do. And if I didn't, like I said in my previous video, this would be all I use. Just making sure that I blend it all out. If you guys know of any good eye creams, let me know. I think I'm going to buy one from Sephora that I saw good reviews on and hopefully it's pretty good. I take forever on blending out my foundation and concealer because it's important to me for it to be blended out. Now using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand, I'm just applying it only under my eyes because that's where I need the most coverage. And just going to be blending that out too. You guys, the other day I was wearing glitter on my eyes but my eye got itchy so I rubbed it so hard. And now one of my eyes, it's like getting super puffy on the bottom and I'm so scared I'm going to get a sty. That's like really, really scary. I woke up and I was like, oh, persinandome. Like, God, please don't let this happen. But that was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. And I knew it too. Before I rubbed my eye, I was like, take off your glitter first. Now I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Patrick Star Palette in calibration with MAC and just under my eyes around my mouth for the smile lines down my nose and in my forehead. This powder is pretty nice. However, in my own humble opinion, I just like the Laura Mercier one better for myself because that one gives me more coverage and I have dark circles so I need one that's not going to emphasize them and it's going to give me more coverage as well and this one was super nice I even evaluated it super closely I have nothing negative to say about it however my Laura Mercier one does give me a little bit more coverage but this one was good for the average person for me I just love my Laura Mercier one, but I wanted to try something different for you guys. So this one, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I still look super tired. I was so annoyed because my Laura Mercier one, 
would have got me covered for sure i mean i still look a little bit tired even with that one because um, i am tired but it does give me a really good coverage as well and this one just didn't make the cut for me now i'm going to be adding the darkest burgundy shade under my eyes and just really smoking it out this is going to help kind of make me look less tired And now I'm adding mascara. I had <laughs> I had this eyelash that was sticking out and I'm like, "You know what? You've got to go. You've got to go." So I just plucked it out. But don't do this. This is actually not really good. But I was just like, "No, you're begging me." I'm going to be adding some highlight to my inner corner from the Jaclyn Hill palette. The same one that we used for the brow bone color. That's the one that I'm going to be using. Now I'm going to be adding some of that Urban Decay glitter liner right on top of it. This really makes it pop more. I actually do this on a daily basis and people love it and I love it too. To contour, I'm using my Holy Grail bronzer that I use as a contour shade. It's from The Balm in Bahama Mama. It's just my go-to. I haven't found one that doesn't make me look muddy. You guys might be thinking right now, girl, you look muddy. But in my eyes, it looks good. So this is definitely my favorite shade. I use it every single day. When they had their 50% off sale, like it was like during Christmas time, I believe. I got like two extra ones because they're my favorite. And just going to be contouring my cheeks, my forehead, trying to make it smaller because I do have a five finger forehead, but it is what it is. And then I'm also going to be doing the jawline and the double chin. To diffuse it out, I'm going to be using the 05 Soleil baked bronzer from milani this is my jam i've been using it forever and it hasn't made any indent indentation at all like it's still holding on it still looks new it just lasts forever and it does a really really nice job of diffusing out any contour it's my favorite it doesn't add too much but just enough i love this for blush i'm going to be using the anastasia peachy love trio and just using all the colors except the middle shade you gotta be super careful with this one you a little goes a long way trust me it's very pigmented now to highlight i'm going to be using so hollywood illuminator by abh whenever you have a chance to get this highlighter i highly recommend it like trust me it's really really good it's always out of stock but because it's that good so if you ever have the chance, just get it, trust me. And Anastasia's highlighting brush is super good too. Going to be highlighting my nose as well and then kind of blending it out with my finger. I'm going to be spraying myself with MAC Fix Plus. I don't always set my face or spray myself, but when I do, it looks good, especially with this highlighter. When I set it with MAC Fix Plus, it's so good. Now for the lip liner, I'm going to be using Curvy by ColourPop and Sara E to lip line my lips. Lip line. <laughs> Why am I so weird? I'm using this shade from MAC. I don't have it with me right now, but I'll be posting it down below. I let my sister borrow it, so I don't have it. And then I'm going to be using also a MAC lip class. And that too, I'll list the shade down below for you guys. I love these two shades. Like they are so pretty. They have the best ones. But that is all for right now, guys. I hope that you guys loved it. I did this voiceover like five times and I was like, you know what? Just go for it, Nancy. So thank you so much. Have an amazing New Year's. Be safe. Have fun. But not too much fun. Bye, guys. And let me know you want... I hope you enjoy this. What should I say?
Thank you. You're welcome.